Hey everybody, welcome to Patch Abilities. Hi, I'm really glad you stopped by. Uh, I'm Julie, I'm the creative energy behind Patch Abilities Patterns. And I gotta tell you, uh, I love creating small, uh, inviting quilted projects that bring people into our, our, invite people into the hobby of quilting and I keep them simple enough that anybody can finish them in one day. So, uh, again, thank you for stopping by. So in today's episode, uh, spring, uh, I don't, depending on what time of the year you're watching this right now from where I'm standing, spring has just arrived and we are so excited as we always are to, uh, welcome spring in. And you know, with spring, a nipping on spring's heels is always Easter. And so in today's episode, I am going to give you a most delicious trunk show uh, of almost everything Easter that I've created over the last few years. So without further ado, let's take a peek. Okay. Oh my gosh. Welcome Welcome to my little Easter patch right here in my little Patchabilities studio. So uh, I am not going to dilly daddle. We are just going to dive right on in here and I'm going to start way over here and we're going to take a peek at everything. I'll tell you what the sizes are and what uh, their names are, the uh, name of the pattern is and where you can find them. Okay, so what we're looking at, the first one here is this really cute spring bunny. Uh, I think it's called Happy Easter. Its number is MM604, I think. <laughs> um, uh, I think it's MM604. He measures six, wide, six inches wide by 22 inches long. There is a little bit of embroidery on him, as you can see, his whiskers and then the letters on the eggs, but totally cute. Right next to him is, this is MM11-4. This is called, uh, oh Lord, I can't remember their names. I've designed over 250. You'd think I'd remember the names, wouldn't you? Anywho, what we're looking at here is, um, uh, this is MM11-4. I know I said that already. The model that we're looking at right there is in wool. It's flannel background and wool appliqued on it. Uh, I actually uh, machine appliqued that wool. Uh, yes, you can do that. Down below it, this is the cotton version. That is, the cotton version is 6 by 22 and the wool version is 6 by 18. Uh, you can find it on the monthly mini 11 series page. Next over here is da -da 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 -da, spring on the farm. That I know is number pattern number 239. And that is a big boy. It measures that is 16 inches tall by 28 inches uh, wide. And uh, just features everything spring going on on the farm. Um, down below that is Happy Easter. I love the rainbow of colors in this. Super, super, super duper beginner friendly. And uh, the number on this one is called, I believe it's 238, and it's called Easter Egg Rainbow. You beginners out there, that's a great one to start on. Down below, oh, uh, size of that is 12 inches tall by 18 inches wide. Down below here, we have cute little bunny got back. This was in my monthly mini eight series. It measures six inches wide by 12 inches long. It's got lovely little piecing in the background has an adorable button pack that comes with it, and again, super duper beginner friendly. Uh, the next one we have here is, I'm gonna get in a little closer. This is called uh, Bluebird Easter. Gotta back up, see. Uh, it's, it's pattern number 197. Um, it measures six inches wide by 12 inches tall, and as you can see there, Lily of the Valley is on this. And my little flowers on my Lily of the Valley are, I did not blanket stitch around those because I used a heavy heat and bond. So I was able to cut those out and just iron them on and they're on there permanently. I really highly suggest getting some heavy fusible web if you don't already have some. Okay, our next design, this little booger is brand spanking new and it's called... 
Drum roll, please. Happy Easter. Who shocking, huh? All right. Uh, the pattern number on this is 234. And um, I'm going to get a close up here because I'm going to show you that the bunny nose, which is so faint on here, you can barely see it. But the bunny nose, the eyes, and the words Happy Easter are all cut out of heavy fusible. So I, you don't have to stitch them down. Uh, very, 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 very beginner friendly. Uh, nice, big, simple shapes to blanket stitch around. So beginners, if you're looking for a great Easter project, give that one a try. Up above here is, uh, da -da 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 -da. this is one, this is 194. It's called Hippity Hoppity Easter. <laughs> Man, is he ever cute. Uh, this is, this measures 12, 12 by 14. So did Happy Easter below that. He's 12 by 14. Up above here is Easter's biggest fan. And this is number 236. Uh, it measures six inches wide by about 12 inches long. Cute, scrappy background gives it an even more delicious spring look. To the right of that, I got to back up so you can see it all. I love this runner. Absolutely love it. Um, that This runner is called Easter Bunny's Runner, and it's pattern number 235. Um, I... This is a quilt as you go background, so you don't have to do any additional machine quilting in that uh, besides your blanket stitching and uh, great directions in the pattern there. And we're down to our last three. So on the left here, we have pattern number 121, and this is called Happy Easter. That is a lovely, um, if you have lots of scrappy fabrics, um, this is terrific for using up some of those springy scraps. Uh, next to that is, I'm looking over here at my notes, I can't, let's see, pattern 195 called Easter Egg Hunt. Uh, those bunnies have got one very big stack of eggs, don't they? Uh, that measures, oh, both, uh, all, uh, both of those that you're looking at in the center there measure 6 inches wide by approximately 22 inches long. And then last we have... Um, Oh, farts. I don't know. Oh, what's this one called? <laughs> it's called, uh, this is pattern number 237, Hang On Easter. And again, I used heavy fusible to do the nose and the little paw pads on those guys. So that is your Easter tour from us here at Patch Abilities. Uh, as you can see, I love Easter, and I have designed a lot of Easter stuff. There's so much fun Easter things to do, and can I say Easter one more time? <laughs> hey, I want to thank you so much for watching. If any of this uh, got your creative juices flowing, everything that I've just shown you can be found on our website at patchabilities.com. Now let me find my notes. Go to patchabilities.com. You're going to click on the product tab and then the patterns category, and then the spring category, and last, Easter. So go to our website, patchabilities.com, click on product, patterns, spring, Easter, and you'll have it. And uh, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe, share, please share, sharing, sharing is caring. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh Hope you enjoyed this trunk show today. Please stop again. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.